Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I am super excited today to show you Hannah's Stole. This is a really fun stole wrap and it has a lovely honeycomb cable down the center using my special cabling technique. If this is the first time visiting my channel, please hit that subscribe button and thumbs up if you like the project and don't forget the notification bell. I know it's a lot of things to think about, but by doing that, that really blesses me and it'll make sure you don't miss any of the projects that I have coming your way. If you're looking for the written pattern for this project, please again, check the video links below and you will find it there. Well, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm gonna be using Red Hearts Shik Sheep yarn. This is 100% wool. And some of the stats on this yarn is 186 yards per scan or 170 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. I am going to be using approximately six of these, but if you wanted to use another yarn, feel free. You're going to need about 1,100 yards of your favorite um, worsted to light worsted weight yarn. I'm also going to be using a size I or 9 or 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I recommend that you have a yarn needle and a pair of scissors handy. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin with a slip knot. And for the foundation chain, we're going to loosely chain 49 chains. After chaining, 49, we're going to begin row one by working a double crochet in the third, one, two, three, third chain from the hook and in each chain across. As we do this, I generally like to crochet on one side of the chain and if the chain looks like a V, I just crochet in one of the loops. Some of you may prefer to crochet in the back bump of the loop it's however you prefer is fine. Uh, we will not be crocheting over this um, foundation chain again. So whatever you do here, that's the way it's going to appear in the finished garment. So go ahead and work those double crochets all the way across. And let me also take the time early to explain how you can change the speed of the video should I go too quickly for you, which I am prone to do, and I'm sorry about that. Down here on the bottom, there is a little gear-shaped icon. It's going to be over here for the left-hand version of this video. If you click on that, it brings up a playback speed, and you can select a slower playback speed. If you are getting bored, you can pick a faster playback speed. Now, if you're using a phone, if you look up here, there'll be three vertical dots. It'll be over here on the left-hand side, and it will do the exact same thing. If you click on that, I believe the video for both of these need to, needs to be stopped in order to do that, but you can click on that on, on your phone and it will also bring back a playback speed and you should be able to adjust to the speed that you're most comfortable with. I hope that serves you well. This is what you should have at the end of row number one. Now we're going to turn and we're going to begin row number two. This is beginning the ribbing. We're going to chain two. We are going to skip the first stitch and we are going to work a front post double crochet in the first two stitches and then we're going to work back post double crochets in the next two stitches and that is going to be the repeat all the way across and I'll do this a little bit slowly if you've never seen a post stitch before it's similar to working into the loops and completing a double crochet with the exception that we're going to wrap the hook around the body of the stitch and pull up a loop and then complete the stitch as you normally would it's as simple as that and they're actually easier once you get the muscle memory and the know how it feels with your fingers. Now for the back post, we come in through the back door, go around and exit the back as if we're tying or completing the stitch in the back of the stitch. So hence back post double crochet. So go ahead and alternate two front post double crochet, two back post double crochet all the way across the row. 
After working that all the way across, we have two stitches left, so go ahead and work front post double crochets in those last two stitches. And we're going to work a half double crochet worked right in that chain two space. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Now for rows three through five, they are going to be worked pretty much the same using the ribbing, although they may start differently. Row three is going to start with a chain two and a back post double crochet on those first two stitches and then two front post double crochets and then we repeat that all the way across two back post double crochets and then two front post double crochets. Now when you get to the end of this row let me go ahead and show you. We're going to end by working two back post double crochets and then we will work a half double crochet worked in that chain two space. So go ahead and finish row number three. Now for rows four and five, we're simply going to repeat rows two and three again, but I'll go ahead and show you how these begin. Row number four begins with a front, or actually chain two, and then two front post double crochets over those post stitches. Do make sure that you are working front post over stitches that are that look like front post and back post over stitches that are in the back. That way you keep the ribbon going. And the next two stitches are two back post double crochets. So that is the repeat across row four. Front post double crochet in the first two stitches or the next two stitches and then back post double crochet in the next in the next two stitches. I can get it to work with me. Thank you. All right, so go ahead and work that all the way across for row number four. For row number five, we're going to chain two and we will work back post double crochets over the first, or actually the first two post stitches. We always skip the first half double crochet while we work this. And then two front post double crochets. So that is the repeat all the way across two back post double crochets, followed by two front post double crochets. So go ahead and work this all the way across the row. At the end of the row, it's going to end with two back post double crochets, followed by a half double crochet in the chain two. Now we're ready to begin row six, which is going to establish the pattern with the honeycomb. We start with a chain two, and we are going to work the basket weave stitch over the first six stitches and over the last six stitches, plus that half double, when we finish the row. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you through this step by step. We skip the first half double, and we're gonna work back post double crochets over the first two stitches and then we're going to work front post double crochets over the next two stitches and then back post over the next two stitches and this should be the opposite of what your stitches were doing before. Before we had front post, but we worked the opposite of that, opposite of the back post, which is front post, and then back post over what was the front post during the ribbing stitch. Okay, so now we are going to begin in the next stitch, which is right here. Make sure that you don't double dip and use this stitch because we've already used it with the back post stitch. It's kind of easy to um, double dip on this particular round or, or row, but once we establish this, I think it'll become clearer. So on the next stitch, we are going to start working the waddle stitches, which is essentially a combination of three stitches, single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Then we're going to skip the next stitch, 
and then we're going to do another waddle stitch in the next stitch single crochet chain one double crochet and we're going to do a total of four waddle stitches so we have one two now we're going to skip the next stitch put the third one here chain one and a double crochet skip the next stitch and then the fourth one Let's make sure that we have four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to skip one stitch and then we're going to work a half double crochet worked in the top loops and we're going to begin the foundation for the large honeycomb cable. And the way we do this is we work three front post double crochets in a row and then we follow that with a half double crochet worked in the top loops just like that. And we're going to do that a total of four times so that is one and this is the second set of three front post double crochets and then a half double and then let's do it two more times so we have three front post and double crochets followed by a half double and then we want to do it one more time three front post double crochets followed by a half double and let's pause to check to make sure that we have the correct amount. So this, these were our waddle stitches here. So we have the half double and the three front post, half double, that's two, three, and four framed by another half double. So that is the foundation for that large stitch. So after that half double, at the end of the honeycomb foundation section, we're going to do four waddle stitches again, which again, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in that next stitch, skip the next stitch, and then do it in the next one. Skip the next stitch, and another waddle stitch, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next, and then skip the next stitch, and then single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Let's check to see what we have here. So we have one, two, three, four. Now we're going to work, um, we're going to skip one, two stitches at the end here and we're going to work over the last six post stitches using the basket weave. So we're st skipping two stitches here. We're going to work back post double crochet over the next two stitches front post double crochet whoops over the next two stitches and then back post double crochet over the last two post stitches and then when you get to the turning chain we're going to work a half double in that turning chain so let's go ahead and pause and take a look at what we have. Now that we've turned, we're ready to begin row seven. We're going to chain two and a word about the basket weave to help you along your way. We're going to repeat what we see two times. Or another way to think about this is when we're working with the back side facing as we are now, we're going to just duplicate what we see if we see front post. Of course, we're going to skip this first stitch, the half double. We see front post, we're going to do two front post double crochets. If we see back post, we're going to do two back post. So we're going to do two rows the same when it comes to the basket weave and we're going to change after every two rows. And so the way to remember that is again, the back side, you just continue to do what you see. When you are working with the front side facing, you will always do the opposite of what you see as far as the post stitches go. So 
with the back side facing, we've worked two front post and two back post and then two front post. Now we're going to work four waddle stitches and for the seven row seven and above, we're going to work only in the chain one space whenever you work in the waddle stitches when you're not working the foundation row for these. So in other words, skip the double crochet and just working in that chain one space, we work single crochet, chain one, double crochet, another, which is another waddle space, waddle stitch. In the next chain one space, work a waddle stitch. And the next one, And the next one. Now we get after working the waddle stitches, we're going to half double in that half double crochet, back post, double crochet in the next three stitches, half double in the next stitch, and basically repeating that across the um, cable section, back post in three, the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then half double working through the top loops. Make sure that you always work through the top loops of the half double crochet and don't make that into a post stitch. Okay, then back post double in the next three stitches. Half double crochet in that next stitch and we have one more set back post double crochet and then half double in the next stitch it brings us to the waddle stitches and we just do the waddle stitches single crochet chain one double crochet worked only in the chain one spaces I think you're really going to like the fabric that this creates. It's kind of a bit more subdued from the cable so that it allows the cable to really be featured. Um, but it's, you know, a little bit beyond your standard, um, just straight double crochets or, or half doubles. So it gives it a nice texture. And since we still have the back side facing, we see front post double crochet. We're going to work two front post double crochets and then two back post double crochets, followed by two more front post double crochets, and half double worked in that chain two turning space. Let's go ahead and turn, and we'll see what we have. This is with the front side facing, and you can see that these foundations have grown a bit now we've come to the point where we're actually going to begin the cable. So this is going to be row number eight, chain two. And since we have the front side facing, we're going to do the opposite of what we see. We see two back posts. We're going to work two front post stitches. One, two, and then two back post stitches. and then two more front post stitches. And then we work the four waddle stitches. I'm going to go ahead and work these and then I will show you what to do for the cable section. So one in each of the chain one spaces. After finishing those four waddle stitches, go ahead and do the half double and the next stitch. Now we are going to cross the cables and the way we're going to do this, I'm going to talk you through it just for a second to try to give you an idea where we're headed with this. We are going to cross with these two coming out. So this is going to come over on this side and it's going to end up on the, on the top side over these stitches. These stitches are going to go inward and then these stitches are going to cross. This one's going to cross outward where this is going to be on the top side and this is going to cross inward. Okay, after working the half double crochet, we're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, half double crochet in the top of that half double crochet. Now we're going to do three front post treble crochets.
crochets, not doubles, but trebles. And we just complete them the same way we would a treble crochet, but as a post stitch by wrapping it around this, the body of the post stitches like we've been doing with the doubles. Now working behind these four stitches, we're going to work front post trebles in the stitches that we skipped. And the way we do that is we come in to the big hole here, and then we're going to wrap our hook around. And it's helpful if you can stick your thumb up into the, to the hole like I am here, and then complete the stitch. I'm depending heavily upon the nerve endings in my tall man and my thumbkin here. To, to do this. So we come in through the hole again and we see that we're going to do the second stitch and complete the stitch. And the third stitch again through the hole and there is the third stitch and I can feel it. And then we complete that front post treble. And so this is how you do a back cross or a BCC. Now let's keep continue. So I promise you the next, the next maneuver is a little bit easier than this. So now we work a half double crochet and that next half double crochet, skip the next three stitches, half double and that next half double crochet, front post treble in the next three stitches, one, two, and three. Now working in front of these last four stitches, this is the easier part. We're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and this stitch. So instead of going in through the back hole, we just go right in front of those last four stitches and then work the three front post trebles just like that. Okay, let's Let's pause and see what we have done here and to see how, how these two center are coming out and going outward. Now we complete the next half double crochet and then the rest is very much like what we've already done on the other side. Waddle stitch in each chain one space of the waddle stitch from the previous row. And there's the next one. And after you've done this many times, I promise you that muscle memory does kick in with the single crochet, chain one, double crochet. You don't really have to think about it as much once you've done it a bit. And since we're still with the front side facing, we do the opposite of what the basket weave is doing. So we saw back post, so we're going to do two front post double crochet. We see front post, we're going to do two back post double crochet. And then we do two front post, which is the opposite of what we see there. And half double crochet in that turning chain. Let's go ahead and take a look after row number eight. Now we're ready to go to row number nine and I'm going to chain two, one, two. And remember when the back side is facing you, you just do what you see on the basket. If you see two back posts, just go with it, two back posts, because we have to do two rows of the basket weave before we switch it up, which is always going to be on the front side. And then two front post double crochets and then two back post double crochets and that brings us to the waddle stitches so go ahead and work the four waddle stitches and then I'll show you what to do with the cable after working those four waddle stitches we work a half double crochet in that half double crochet now working over the crossed cable, we just work three back post double crochets over the next three stitches, just straight across. And the part where the cable was crossed, right here, 
we're going to work a half double crochet in between the last stitch and the next stitch. So this is not directly in a stitch, it's just between stitches where the cable, as you see, was crossed. And then now we work three more back post double crochets. After that, we have two half double crochets. We're going to skip this one and we're going to work a half double in the next one. And this one is actually going to be the center of the, of the large cable. Um, and let me just explain something quickly here. We are skipping two, or actually skipping one stitch here, but the stitch count does remain the same as we go across because we did add a half double crochet here in between the cable. So all that for you mathematicians. Um, all is well, and the stitch count will remain the same throughout. Now we do three more back post double crochets across the other side of this cable. And then we come to the center where this one was crossed again, where you see you have the next three coming up, and we just finish the next three. Work a half double crochet right in that space. That's the center of that side of the cable. And then three more back post double crochets. And half double crochet in that next half double crochet. Because this, this cable is framed on each side by half doubles. So now we work the waddle stitches, one in each of those four waddle stitches. So go ahead and work those. After those four waddle stitches, we work the basket weave, and again, we do what we see. Since we have the back side facing, we have back posts, so we do two back posts, double crochets. Then two front posts, double crochets. Followed by two more back posts, double crochets. Let's go ahead and get through all the loops. And then a half double crochet in that chain two space, just like that. And that's what we have with the back side facing. Let's go ahead and turn and see what we have with the front side. Now we're ready to work row 10, chain two. And again, front side is now facing. So we're going to do the opposite, what we see on our basket weave. Two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, followed by two back post double crochets. Okay, now we work those four waddle stitches, so go ahead and work those in those four chain one spaces. Now that we get to the cable, we're going to work a half double crochet in that half double crochet. You can probably guess the next three front post double crochets, half double in that half double working through the loops right there. And then three more front post double crochets. One, two, three. And then half double crochet in that next half double. And three more front post double crochets. And this, this yarn, I have to say, is so smooth to work with and it makes it so much easier um, than some other types of yarn. Okay, so half double crochet here and three more front post double crochets. And just to say that, you know, for yarn that is made of wool, it is um, the super wash wool, it really does feel nice and soft to the touch as well. And then a half double in that half double crochet. Let's pause and take a look. This is row 10. This is what you should have on the cable portion. And then now we just finish out the rest. I'm going to just talk you through it. Four waddle stitches in those chain one spaces here. Then we're going to work two back post, two front post, and two back post double crochets, and then a half double in that last stitch. So go ahead and complete that row. Now we're ready to begin row 11 with the chain two. And again, we have the back side facing so that we're going to 
do what we see on these basket weaves. So two front posts, since we see front posts, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, um, but sometimes that's actually what I need to hear so that I learn. So I'm hoping that will help somebody else out there. Two back posts, double crochets, and two front post double crochets. Now we work those four waddle stitches. So go ahead and work those waddle stitches in those four chain one spaces. After those four waddle stitches, we work a half double in that half double crochet. Back post doubles over the next three stitches. One, two, three and a half double in the next stitch. And that is pretty much what you're gonna do across the cable portion is just three back post double crochets. I'm gonna do this four times. And then a half double in the next half double. So that's two. We're gonna do this two more times. Three back post double crochets. And then a half double and then one more back post double crochets followed by a half double crochet and to finish out row 11 we're going to work waddle stitches in each of the four chain one spaces which is right there in the waddle stitches and then we're going to work two front post two back post, two front post, and then a half double crochet worked right in that chain. So go ahead and finish that. And actually, once you turn, go ahead and begin row number 12, which is going to be two front post, two back post, two front post, as you do the opposite of what you see, and work those four waddle stitches. And then I'll show you what to do from that point. Now on row 12, after having worked the basket weave, which again, the opposite of what you saw in the last row, two front posts, two back posts, two front posts, double crochets, and those four waddle stitches. We come to the cable and we are going to work a half double crochet in that first half double crochet and just front post double crochets over the next three stitches. Followed by a half double crochet we're going to do that a total of four times as we work across the cabling section. And one thing you can notice here is that the cable is growing. It's, it's becoming longer. And we're going to do that for this round, at, a row rather, and the next one as well as we come across this section with the back post on row 13, but right now we're just finishing up row 12. I'm going to finish these and I'm going to show you what we have. And then a half double crochet. Don't forget that. That's pretty important. So you can see how this section is growing. So now to complete the rest of this, I'm going to just talk you through it. Waddle stitches in those four chain one spaces. And then we're going to do two front post, two back post, two front post, the opposite of what we see, and then a half double crochet in the chain two space. And then go ahead and work the basket weave, which is going to be two back post, front post, back post, going the other direction, and the four waddle stitches. And then I'll show you how to do the cabling section for row 13. Now as we get to the cabling section, for row 13, and this is again after we've done the back post double crochet, front post double crochet, two back post double crochet, and those waddle stitches. We're going to work a half double crochet in the next half double. And then four times we're going to work back post double crochets in the next three stitches. And then a half double in that next stitch. So that's what we're going to repeat four times. 
across the cabling section three back post double crochets and then a half double crochet we've worked a row similar to this already back post double crochet in the next three stitches and then a half double and then we have one more set of these back post double crochet and then a half double I'll show you what that looks like over the cable portion so now to finish out row number 13 we are going to work waddle stitches in each of those four chain one spaces and then work since we have the back side facing we're going to work two back post double crochets two front post and two back post and then a half double crochet in the chain two turning chain so go ahead and do that and then when you turn go ahead and work the the basket weave which again you can do the opposite when you're going the other direction in row 14 and then work those four waddle stitches and then I'll show you what to do with the cable portion which is going to be another crossing of the cables for row 14 so go ahead and finish row 13 and begin row 14 and I'll show you the cable section now for row 14 we've worked two back post two front post two back post double crochets and those four waddle stitches and we've come to the cable and let me show you what we're going to do for this okay we're going to actually bring this over and it's going to be on top of this cable which are these post stitches which are going to go this direction so we're going to do a front cross cable here but then over here we're going to bring this one over the top so this is going to be under and this is going to be a back post cable on this side where before we worked a back post cable and then a front post well now we're going to work a front post cable here or um, yeah front cross cable I'm sorry and then a back cross cable here all right so let's go ahead and do this we're going to work a half double crochet in that next half double skip the next three stitches front post I'm sorry half double in that next half double and then we're going to do front post treble crochets in the next three stitches one two three now working in front of these four stitches we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped that's one two and three half double in the next half double I'm sorry yes right half double ah, half double in the next half double skip the next three stitches half double crochet in that next stitch front post treble in the next three stitches one two three and I must say it, it amazes me how something like this which looks like nothing or it looks like a mess right now but then what we do next is going to fix it all we're going to front post treble in these stitches but working behind these four stitches that we just worked so we come into the hole here and we start with this one and again using that thumb and finger to feel which is the correct one let's do that again coming into the hole and we know this is the next one it's right there and front post treble in that stitch and then third time into the hole and we have the third post stitch right there let's go ahead and anchor it with our half double crochet work through the top loops and let's pause and let's take a look at this so now you see where it's coming back together again so so the, the cable is coming back so do make sure that you do a visual check as you work your scarf because it's real easy to get um, kind of lazy and not pay attention to the which direction the cables cross 
and you can have both of them crossing the same way, um, which wouldn't be terribly tragic, but it wouldn't be what we're shooting for with this honeycomb cable. So, and then after that, we're just going to work the wattle stitches in the next four chain one spaces from the other wattle stitches, and then we're going to work two back post, front post, back post double crochets, and a half double in the chain two turning chain. And then once you do that, go ahead and work the, the six um, basket weave stitches again. And as you come back the opposite direction, remember you just do whatever you see and then work those four wattle stitches. And then I will show you the next um, procedure on working with the back side facing on this cable. For row 15, the cabling section, but let me show you first. We worked front post, two front post double crochets, two back post, two front post, and those four wattle stitches. Now we work a half double in that half double crochet, and then three back post double crochets, one, two, and three. And now just like we did when we crossed the cable before, we're going to work a half double crochet in between the last stitch, stitch and next stitch, and that's where the cable was crossed. So just work a half double in that space. And then three more back post double crochets, one, two, three. And while there is a half double crochet we can't see, we're going to skip it here, but there's a half double crochet there, we're going to work in that one. And again, the stitch count remains the same. And on the other side, three more back post double crochets, one, two, three, and then half double in the middle there, and then three more back post double crochets, one, two, three, and then actually we do skip this stitch, half double there, and we work in the next half double. Okay, and then to finish out row 15, we're going to work those four waddle stitches here in the chain one spaces, and then front post double crochets, two there, two back posts, two front posts, and a half double in the chain two space. So go ahead and finish out row 15. And then when you start um, row 16, remember we're going to work the opposite of what we see. So we're going to do two front posts, two back posts, two front posts, and we're going to work in those waddle stitches. And then I'll show you how to work the cabling section. Okay, now for row 16, I've gone ahead and worked two front posts, two back posts, two front posts, and those four waddle stitches. And when we get to the cabling section, it should look very familiar. We work a half double crochet, and then we work three front post double crochets, one, two, three, and then a half double crochet in that half double. We're going to do that four times across the cable section. Three front post double crochets, and then a half double crochet. Let's do that two more times. Three front post double crochets, and then a half double crochet. Make sure you don't accidentally work into the top of one of the post stitches. Make sure you find that half double, and then three front post double crochets, and then a half double. And then from this point on, we work those four waddle stitches. And then we work, remember the opposite, so there'd be front post, two front post, two back post, and then two front post double crochets, and then a half double in that turning chain. Coming back, make sure you work the same here. Um, work what you see over these basket weave stitches, and then work the four waddle stitches, and then I will show you how to work the cabling section. Now that we get to the back side, this is row 17, we've worked 
two back post, two front post, two back post, and those four waddle stitches. We're ready to work the cable. And to do that, we're going to work a half double crochet in that half double crochet, three back post double crochets over the next three stitches, one, two, three, half double crochet in that next half double. And again, we repeat that four times, three back post double crochets, and then one half double, that's the second set. And we're gonna do the third set. Three, there we go, back post double crochets. And then a half double. Three more, back post double crochets, one, two, three, and a half double crochet. And so now to finish out the row, we're going to work those four waddle stitches, two back post, two front post, two back post double crochets, and a half double crochet in the chain two space. So go ahead and finish out row 17. Okay, now this is what you should have after 17 rows. You should have a nice honeycomb cable here. And so I'm going to give you an assignment. We are going to repeat row eight, which is where the first crossing of the cables crossed through row 17. That's a 10 row repeat for every honeycomb that you would like in your scarf. For this particular pattern, I'm going to repeat this 16 more times uh, until I have 17 honeycomb cables completed. Before I show you the completed project, I also wanted to give you a vision for how this cable is going to curl back up. So just to give you a little view of what you're shooting for here. Okay. And as you work that cable accordingly, the basket weave should remain constant and as well as the waddle stitches on both sides and the basket weave over here. So just keep an eye on this. Make sure that you are following, you know, protocol by um, working this, changing it up when it's on the front side and then keeping it the same when the, uh, when the back side is facing you. So go ahead and work that and I will show you how to move towards the ribbing. So now as we begin the ribbing, we're going to chain two and just like always, we have the front side facing us. So we are going to start with the opposite of that. We're going to work the last row here with the basket weave as we establish this uh, foundation row. So we have two back post double crochets. We're going to do two front post double crochets and then two back post double crochets. Now the rows following what I'm showing you here is just going to be straight ribbing and you'll just continue with what you see there. When we get to the waddle stitches, we're going to skip the double crochet. We're going to work a double crochet in the chain one space and a double crochet in the single crochet. So a double crochet in that chain one space and one double crochet in the single crochet. We're going to do that four times as we work over the waddle stitches. Okay, now after we do that, we are going to come to the cables. So let's go ahead and work a double crochet in that half double crochet. And then we're going to work front post double crochets over these cabled or post stitches by working three front post double crochets. Go ahead and work a double crochet in that half double and then another three front post double crochets. And 
and add double crochet in the half double and three more front post double crochets now again this is turning into ribbing the next row and three more front post double crochets and that half double make sure you do a work through the top loops of that half double and then we come again to the waddle stitches skip this double crochet work a double crochet in the chain one space and in that single crochet this is going to just try to help even out all these stitches getting ready for the ribbing as you go across on row one for the ribbing to adjust the numbers we're going to add an additional double crochet in that last waddle stitch and then work in that single crochet this is going to help us tremendously with helping the ribbing to work out on the following rows and then so go ahead and if we finish up back post double crochet in the next two stitches front post in the next two stitches and then back post in the next two stitches and then follow that with a half double crochet so don't forget to add an additional stitch in that chain one space of that last waddle stitch okay, so now we're going to go ahead and turn and what I'm going to show you now we are going to do pretty much for the next four rows with the exception of how we start and end the rows okay we're going to chain two I know that just sounded confusing but let me explain we're going to start with two front post double crochets and then two back post two front post two back post and we're going to alternate that all the way across even through the cabling section two front post two back post now when we turn well let me go ahead and get you through this row um, the other rows may start with two back post double crochets and or in, instead of two front post but basically what we're going to be doing is maintaining the um, ribbing so let me go ahead and get you started we've chained two and this is row two of the end ribbing two front post double crochets now we have been you know working the basket weave along the edges we no longer are going to be doing that we're going to be switching back to the ribbing let me see if i can show you a picture of this my um, scarf has grown quite large so it's a little tricky to show you here we go okay this is with the back side facing but we're returning to working the ribbing only so let me just show you so even the part that had the basket weave is going to turn to pure ribbing so if you whatever you see in the rows that you are working if you see a front post you're going to work a front post if it's a back post you're going to work a back post i'm pretty sure that's understandable if you've gotten all the way to this part in the video so now we're going to work two back post double crochets and so now we are let's see two more two front posts double crochets so with all that talking let me just review again so we did two front posts two back posts two front posts and we're just going to alternate that all the way across the row two back posts double crochets two front posts so go ahead and do that all the way across and I will show you the end so that I can show you that it does work out numerically once we've added that extra stitch in for our ribbing. So after working this all the way across, you can see that it works out numerically and you should have just ended with front post over the front post, back post over the back post, front post over the front post, and that half double crochet. So that ends row number two of the ribbing so let's go on to row number three let's go ahead and, all right let's try that again there we go so we're going to chain two and so now
for row three of the ribbing, we're going to start with a back post double crochet. So we do two back post double crochets, and then, and then two front post double crochets, and just repeat that alternating all the way across when you begin row number four you're going to start with a front post double crochet and then when you start row number five you're going to start with a back post or two back post double crochets um, so go ahead and finish rows three four and five and i will show you the fasten off and how to hide your loose strands so after working those ribbing rows the end should look like this and it should pretty much match what we did at the very beginning we're going to go ahead and give it a chain and give it a tug and go ahead and clip a generous strand pull it on through give it a tug there um, so now just a real quick tutorial maybe some of you already know how to do this um, I just like to show folks how to hide the loose strands this is something that I wasn't very good at for many years and until I saw someone show me how to do this. Okay, so by using this little needle, we can work this into the stitches very easily. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring it over there. There are many different ways to do this, but I just like to show you how easy it is to use the needle to hide all these strands okay and I'm actually going to bring it up a little bit and the stitches right beside it it kind of helps to solidify or to ensure that that strand is not going to go anywhere ever again and I'm going to clip it as close as I can but make sure that you don't clip your beautiful stitches and we are done. All I need to do now is hide a few more strands. And let me go ahead and I will show you what we have. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our finished product again. I really hope you enjoyed making this with me today. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new things that I have coming your way. God bless. Bye-bye.